Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video about the histograms and scopes that are included with our new color correction and filtering software, Camerback Cinema, and uh, some of the neat things about our particular implementation. Um, the histograms and scopes, uh, they're assigned to the keyboard shortcuts 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, and so I can just hit these to pull it up, and the H button will toggle it on and off. So whichever one I set live with the 1, 2, 3, and 4, I can toggle it on and off with H, and you can do all that from the menu up here also. Uh, let me just start with the most basic, um, which is just uh, the histogram. Uh, this is a luminance histogram, and then the second one is an RGMB histogram where they're, each channel is separated and they're overlaid over each other. Uh, and these you're uh, surely familiar with. They help you see uh, basically, if your shadows are crushed or your highlights are blown out, um, and if you adjust the exposure, then you can, you know, watch those values move from left to right as as it gets brighter or darker. Um, and uh, one of the interesting things about camera bags implementation is you can make this as big as you want. And so when you're trying to analyze uh, detail and make sure that you've got it right it can be really handy to be able to make this thing giant and uh, just inspect the values close up um, so you can see exactly what's happening. So uh, that's one of the nice unique things about our implementation. Um, also of note, uh, we've included uh, marker lines in these um, to indicate the range that's safe for broadcast. Um, so I can know like this line on the left uh, represents the uh, the blackest value that I can safely use in a broadcast signal and this line on the right is the brightest. Um, so anyway, those are helpful little markers on there. Um, the, uh, the next one is the waveform. And um, these can be confusing to people because what this represents is from left to right in the image, uh, the brightness values. And so this is another time when it becomes really handy in camera bag that you can resize these as big as you want because I can stretch this the whole width of the image. And then we can easily see that you know this part right here corresponds to the bright white part of the plate that comes through here. And this over here is the bright white part of the plate over here. And so when you make the chart as wide as the image, um, you can see it as I play this, how they move together. Um, it's just much handier and you don't have to do as much work to sort of figure out what's going on. Uh, we've got an RGB version of this where the RG and B ones are overlaid. I just hit 4 to pull that up. And so you can see, for example, here that the, uh, the red, green, and blue uh, in this bright part, they're clearly um, the plate with the red as being too bright. So we know that this, uh, this image is color balanced wrong. Uh, or or warm at least, and so um, if we wanted to use like our coloring curve over here to to uh, pull that red out of the uh, the highlights there, we can see that that brings those R, G, and B values more in correspondence, and then we know that this plate is is white. Um, if we're trying to make that actually be white, um, so let me look at what else I wanted to show here. Um, the final chart that we have here, let me make this back to a more normal size, is a chrominance chart. Um, this corresponds to what, you, what other softwares have called a vector scope, uh, but we tried to make it a lot easier to read. And so basically what this shows, it, it shows you if your colors are oversaturated. And um, in other software, this is, this is designed to uh, mimic an actual uh, electronic signal vector scope, but with software we don't need to do that anymore. So we've we basically unwrapped it. So your hues are from left to right here, and the saturation or chrominance, they're slightly different things. This is chrominance, is from bottom to top. And so if I put on saturation right here and I turn it up, you can see those values jump up. And um, what we have here is these these lines up here indicate. Uh, this, this uh, more white line indicates the maximum chrominance values. So if I jack this all the way up, you can see those values get sucked up to the top there. Um, and then this, this line below it represents 
the maximum chrominance that is safe for broadcast signals uh, on HDTV. And so um, not necessarily that I want to bring them all the way up that high, but this uh, easily lets you see if you're, if you're uh, when you're color correcting, if you're going to a color that is not going to uh, work in a broadcast signal. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, leave us feedback on our user forums. Uh, there will be a link in the video. And uh, try out the beta. Um, and we'd love to hear your feedback. And we hope that you'll enjoy it. Thanks.